If you think hoops is more than a highlight reel, you just found your jam. After 10 months of simmering on the sidelines, Chef Steph Curry turned up the temperature to full beast mode for the win against the Blazers. Representing the Splash Brothers on his own this season, he took matters into his own hands. He racked up a career-high 62 points, shooting 8 from 16 from 3. 62! 62! Steph Curry with the shot, boy. Steph Curry is a bad man, man. Teams are playing the same team in the same city twice in a row this year to reduce travel in a shortened 72-game regular season. With no fans and no nightlife, there is no real home court advantage anyway. Other changes this season are the NBA has stopped testing players for marijuana use. There's also an anonymous hotline to report violations of safety protocols. So it's a three-point game with two and a half left. There's Harden again going to the basket for two. James Harden still wants out of Houston. Averaging 37 points and 11 assists per game so far this season, it looks like the Beard is putting all his skill on display to remind potential trade suitors that he is worth giving up the King's ransom. Houston want to make a trade happen. The question is which teams are one superstar away from being good enough to dethrone the Lakers and prepare to gut their team and mortgage their future by giving up multiple draft picks to take a shot at the title right now. Former Rockets GM Daryl Morey, the new GM at the Philadelphia 76ers, has a long history with Harden. With Aussie Ben Simmons being one of the few superstars good enough to trade for Harden, will they go for it? The Sixers are off to a flying start with a 6-1 record under new head coach Doc Rivers. Do you just ride it out or find a way to bring in the beer? We can't wait to see how this plays out. Since Serge Ibaka elbowed Kawhi Leonard in the face resulting in eight stitches in his mouth, he's been wearing a pretty distinctive face mask. Teammates, including Ibaka, have started to call Kawhi Leonard Leatherface. But the claw had the last laugh. Um, Serge can't talk too much. We got him on a trading block right now. So uh, <laughs> whoever wants him, let us know. Note to humans, the Terminator is at his most dangerous when he's hurt. As much as we love Luka Doncic, his 16% three-point percentage this season is less than adorable. Back outside to Doncic. Misses again. Ah, yikes. Cool hand Luca is looking like a flat-out long-range sniper compared to Kelly Oubre Jr., who is shooting 4% from three so far this season for the Warriors. That's the worst percentage from downtown in NBA history. We had to wait a full year to see Kyrie and Kevin Durant play together as a nuclear reactor-level power couple. They are looking like two players in complete control, honing their craft and striving for perfection. We only saw Kevin Durant in street clothes last season, so it was easy to miss that he changed his jersey number from 35 to 7. So what's the story behind the change? Kevin Durant explained that number 7 stands for completion in the Bible. KD said, after creating the heaven and the earth, God rested on the seventh day. Does that mean Durant is getting ready to rest? Or is he getting all cryptic hanging out with Kyrie? Catch all the NBA action on ESPN on Chaos.